My name is Christy Bradford. I'm currently at Arizona State University and I am working on my PhD in Exploration Systems Design. Currently uh, interning at an asteroid mining company uh, up in the Seattle area and I'm working with them on developing the instrumentation that will be needed for prospecting asteroids for then eventually mining them. First thing we want to mine is actually water because water is incredibly valuable in space. The water that is needed to sustain astronauts is incredibly expensive. Once you're in Earth orbit, it's very easy to then move around the rest of space. By going to asteroids and getting water, uh, we can actually get it a lot cheaper than we can from actually taking it up from Earth. And in addition to sustaining astronauts, water can also be used for radiation protection, which is important both for humans in space as well as protecting spacecraft. My name is Jonathan Credo. I'm attending Northern Arizona University right now. I got my degrees in ACS chemistry with an emphasis in biochemistry and also my second degree in biomedical science. The reason why I was kind of interested in medical school uh, with this research is I hope to look at environmental health and kind of public health out on the Navajo and Hopi Reservation. And the reason behind that is when we look at the data for both uranium and arsenic, we go back out to the communities and share this data. And when we go out there, the people we talk to, be it elders, community leaders, their primary concern is by drinking this water, what does that mean to us? What does it mean to my children, grandchildren? What does it mean to my friends and neighbors? It's a sobering experience that you go out there and trying to help the, the populations. My name is Sarah Parker and I am a graduate student at University of Arizona. We'll be finishing in December and starting a postdoc position also at University of Arizona. I am the Department of Cellular and Molecular Medicine, which is kind of a fancy way to bridge physiology and molecular and cellular biology. What I study is uh, how tissues organize, how cells organize into functional tissues. And there's a lot of places that organization is extremely important. For example, in our brains, uh, neurons form neuronal circuits uh, in a directional manner. And so my work focuses on understanding the underlying mechanisms of how neurons and other cells in the body organize, uh, organize and what goes wrong in uh, injury models as well as cancer to lose that organization and what can be done to fix that. 